Welcome to a new review here on Accor Germany. And today I have a bus armagnac for you from the domain Saint Martin from the year 1992. And I really hope you enjoyed today's review. Our today's domain Saint Martin is located in the bus armagnac and they have around 65 hectares of vineyards, which they use for their armagnac and their wine production. They are meanwhile in the fifth generation and they have a little um, speciality there. They have a mobile distiller apparatus, which means um, they can drive with this apparatus to different other domains and distill for these directly on site. And this apparatus is one of the oldest in the Armagnac region. So yeah, a little bit special here. And they have a dry and a wet cellar for their Armagnac storage. So this was the information to the today's domain, Samata, and now we start with our review. Today's bottling, you will find it here next to me, is in the yeah, classic Le Passeur style. Um, it's for the independent bottle Le Passeur and yeah, they have always little same design, same labels. But um, what I really like about these la labels is that you will find on the front label and also on the back label a lot of information to the, to the bottling of course, but also to the domain and already some tasting notes from this Armagnac. Wow. A lot of information and I really like that. And the further information to our today's bottling are vintage 1992, bottle 2024. So we have here around 31 years of cask maturation. It's a Bass Armagnac, a single cask with the number 90 and they use the grape Bacco for this Armagnac. It's a 70 centiliter bottle and the ABV is 54.9%. It's a cask strength and the price for one bottle is 149 euros. These were the information and now we start with our tasting. So first, the look to the color from this Armagnac. And yes, so this Armagnac doesn't have this intense dark brown color, beautiful dark orange maybe. And for me, it would be very nice um, amber color here. And so we want now to have a look the nose, what kind of aromas we can discover here. Yeah, and what you recognize first is the little bit higher ABV. So you have a beautiful freshness here, the minty freshness. And together with a beautiful um, dry fruit note here, for me it would be something like a, a grapefruit maybe. And what I also have, so the, the mint and the grapefruit are dominant. And then in the background, you have something maybe like a rose hip, a beautiful almond note, some dark chocolate. But on the extremely dark chocolate, something maybe like 50-60% dark chocolate. Yeah, beautiful nose, beautiful nose. Okay, so and we will taste now without water. And in the German part, I recognize that it could be a good chance to add just a few drops of water and to see how this Armagnac develops. So first we're tasting without the water and then we will add a few drops of water to see what happens. Sante. Wow, beautiful Armagnac. And the palette for me is the highlight from this Armagnac. Wonderful palette. It's a very intense palette. It's a very hot palette. You have here a beautiful um, chili first. So it's not the pepper or the ginger, no, it's the chili. But not disturbing in, at any time. It's such a beautiful chili um, catch you have here. And a beautiful orange. So first maybe even the, the orange and then the chili and then you have some wonderful herbs on the palette. Beautiful integrated here. And what I also had 
a beautiful um, cacao note here. Wonderful, beautiful palette. Uh, palette is amazing. And then it changes to the finish. And there you have, um, again, a little bit different aromas. So more the intense now. Pepper, a very intense pepper. And then it changes from the orange on the palette to the orange marmalade. Some cinnamon, a little bit of cedar wood. Wonderful. But of course, this Armagnac is not on the woody side. So don't misunderstand here something. But a little beautiful cedar wood here. And there's left a beautiful milk coffee note here, not a macchiato. And what is still very present is a beautiful sage. A wonderful sage. Incredible. I've never had this intense sage, the spirit, any kind of spirit before. Wonderful. Very nice. Okay. Um, so maybe first, uh, the conclusion of this um, Armagnac without the water. The nose is on the dry side, on the fresh side, as I mentioned. And then you had, it changes on the palette. It gets sweeter. It gets um, very hot with this beautiful chili. It gets more herbal there. And then in the finish, again, you have a little bit different aromas, like um, the cinnamon, the cedar wood, a little bit, the milk coffee. But of course, you have this orange marmalade, this little sweetness inside, this pepper from the palate. So a little bit um, spices left here from the, from the palate. And this wonderful sage, which is left here. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll add now some drops of water, just a little bit to see if we have the same aromas, different aromas, what will happen. Just a little bit more maybe. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yep. It's much smoother. And now, but what is left is the grapefruit. The grapefruit is still here. So you have again the bitter fruit here more. Yeah, the nose is quite similar to that what I had before, but um, just with the, the little change that the freshness is more in the background now. Or, yeah, more in the background. It's not completely gone, it's more in the background. Okay, so let's have a look into the palette. Hmm. So the hot chili is gone. I would even not say it's there's any pepper left. No, the beautiful orange is still present. The herbal notes are present. It's on the palette, of course, and it's not. It's a, now it's more like a, the white chocolate you have on the palette. And the finish. The finish is actually quite similar without this intense pepper note. So the pepper's also gone. So in the finish I had now a little bit more the a chocolate note, the milk chocolate. Cinnamon was there again. Cedar wood was also again present. And the sage, which I had actually before, a little bit maybe. Milk coffee, the latte macchiato is still there, but the sage is now almost gone. It's now for me, it's more like a little licorice left. The sweet licorice. Interesting. Yeah. And, um, I think I wouldn't add any water. Um, 
it's not that it's um, getting worse, much worse than without water, but I preferred it without the water, definitely. I miss now a little bit the, the chili from the palette, the, yeah, this intense hot spices um, which it had before. This is something I miss now a little bit. So, yeah, let's drink it without water. Try it first. Of course, you can still decide if it's too intense for you. You can, of course, add some drops of water. Maybe a little bit less than what I did. Add maybe just three, four drops first and then see. Of course, it depends how much is in your glass. But um, maybe I add a little bit too much of water. No, I'm not sure. Maybe. Well, okay. Point-wise, this Armagnac would receive um, 92 points from me. Beautiful, wonderful result. And uh, of course, it's an absolute recommendation, this Armagnac, um, especially if you like this uh, intense note, this spicy, these chili notes here. If you like a little bit of freshness, really recommendation also for this price. I think it's absolutely fair. And yeah, that's it for today. I really hope you liked the video, the review. And of course, let me know if you had ever the chance to try this Armagnac or this your experience. Leave a comment if you like, leave a thumb up if you like. And of course, you can also have a free subscription and the outro would be also very happy, of course. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.